okay, this is a kind of cute problem here. We're told that we have a rectangle, it has a certain area, and simply based on the area of the rectangle and the degree given to us right here of that angle, we're asked to find the length of the diagonal. And you may be looking at this like, what am I supposed to work with here? Well, I've given you a hint. I wrote some other letters on here to try to prod you in a certain direction. Okay, we could solve this thing simply based on the information that's shown, the angle and the area. And the way you're going to do that is using these other sides, x and y, which we don't know those either. But we should know enough about SOHCAHTOA and right triangle trigonometry to make something out of those. Now, this is a right triangle right here, that part that I've drawn. You know that because it's a rectangle, and rectangles have four 90-degree angles in them. So I'm going to write something down. You probably remember this, which is that sine of 37 degrees. Okay, what's the sine that's opposite over hyp uh, hypotenuse, right? So that's going to equal y over d, according to this drawing. Which means I can now rearrange this equation pretty quickly to say that d times sine of 37 degrees equals y. And likewise, I can say that the cosine of 37 degrees equals x over d, adjacent over hypotenuse. So that means d times cosine of 37 degrees equals x. Okay, so how are those useful? Well, I gave you a hint at the bottom of this that we want to try to express the area in terms of the diagonal d. Well, the area of a rectangle, if you remember, is pretty simple. It's just x times y. Or in other words, d sine of 37 degrees times d cosine of 37 degrees. And now I think we're really getting somewhere. Because look at the number of things we know here. Okay, I'm just going to check them off as I work through this. We know what the area is. We know what the sine of 37 degrees is. We know what the cosine of 37 degrees is. Or at least my calculator knows. I can plug that in there. So if I rearrange this formula a little more, I can get the area. In, I have it in terms of d. I can re-express this to say d equals something. Okay, so that's a little bit of algebra work. I'll leave that for you. Um, should be a fun exercise.